We have a couple of projects that are in human clinical trials right now from my lab that concern oncology and cancer research. Our immune cells are being used and re-engineered to attack cancer tissue in a number of new applications. One of the most popular ones that has attracted the greatest public attention is the re-engineering of killer T cells so that these immune cells that normally go in and kill foreign pathogens and cancer tissue will be able to find exactly where the cancer is located. And so to do this, the T cell is engineered with an antibody that recognizes a tumor-specific antigen on the surface of the, of the cancer cell. And then the T cell, this, this killer T cell, goes in and kills the cancer cell. Many cancers that were previously uncurable, they're seeing 70 to 90 percent cure rates, which is remarkable. But there are some problems. After these killer T cells kill all the cancer, they still have that antibody on their surface that recognizes a protein in our body and they go and kill the healthy cells too. Number two, there's often what is called the cytokine storm or a tumor lysis syndrome where the tumor melts away so fast that it creates an enormous immune stimulating environment and it actually kills the patient. The third problem is that in some cases these killer T cells kill so many cancer cells they get exhausted and they run out of juice, they run out of energy and they quit and they leave some residual disease behind. And the fourth problem that exists is that these technologies only have the capability of recognizing one single tumor marker. And if the tumor loses it, then the patient dies. So what we have done is we've developed a way to solve all four of these major problems. We make our killer T cells so that it recognizes that green dye that we paint onto the surface of tumor cells. So now the killer T cell goes and only kills the cells that are painted with the green dye. We can control the rate of tumor cell killing by controlling the rate at which we administer the dye. If we start to see one of these cytokine storms or tumor lysis syndromes, we just administer less and we can even stop administering it so we never have any problem with that. Moreover, when we're done killing off the tumor, we just quit administering the dye and the normal cells that would normally be attacked and eliminated are now allowed to survive and return to normal growth. Third, we've found that simply by slowing down the rate at which we add the tumor painting dye, we can avoid exhaustion. And then finally, we have found that we can use one killer T cell to remove all cancers. So all four of these major problems can be solved with our technology.